What is up you guys? It is Katya Bolts. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my kitchen. It has been a hot minute since we've done some kind of recipe video. And let me tell you, I have been on a mission, on a quest. What? Is that a quest? To create the perfect vegan, simple chocolate chip cookie. And what I mean by simple is something that you know you would have as a kid that your mom would just whip up really quick because she knew you were having friends over nothing fancy with brown butter you know it takes two hours to sit overnight or to sit overnight what the heck but anyways i wanted to create like the most simple vegan chocolate chip cookie for you guys and i feel like i have finally made it when it comes to the ratio of the sugars what kind of fat to use all that kind of stuff so i'm super excited to jump into it so if you're new don't forget to subscribe let me know in the comment section below what type of cookie you'd like for me to make next otherwise let's jump into the ingredients all right so the first ingredient we are going to need is some all-purpose flour i'm going to use the arrow mills organic all-purpose unbleached flour you can use whatever you might have but yes we are going to use flour if you're gluten-free get an all-purpose gluten-free flour of choice of course we're gonna need some baking soda as well not baking powder but baking soda we're not in need of both either in this recipe luckily a vegan egg replacer what i'm going to be using today is the bob's red mill why i like this one is it's not flaxseed or chia seed so you don't get a weird nuttiness that some people do like but we're going for just simple chocolate chip cookie with no nuttiness or anything so this one is simple it's shelf stable and it's great and and it's equivalent to 34 eggs so it doesn't take up much space in your pantry of course we're gonna just need some salt as well for the fats we are using both vegan butter as well as coconut oil why i'm doing that is because butter is typically 80% fat and 20% water where coconut oil is 100% fat. So for me going half and half with each of these, there's an extra richness with adding a little extra fat to the ratio. Then we are gonna need some light brown sugar. I just have it in this Tupperware right now, as well as some granulated sugar. So I love this brand, get some organic sugar so that you can make sure it is vegan as well. Then we're also gonna need some vanilla extract. And of course, last but not least, some chocolate chips. I'm using the Enjoy Life brand. I love this. I've got both semi-sweet and dark. If you're gonna go for one versus the other, go for semi-sweet, but I'm gonna do a mix of the dark and the semi-sweet. So to get started, I wanna make sure that my fats are at room temperature. So over here, I've got my butter. This comes in a weird block like this but it gives you the measurements anyway so it'll be easy to figure out but we're gonna do half a cup of this and you'll put that in your large bowl because we're gonna be making quite a lot of cookies then we're gonna need the equivalent of half a cup of our coconut oil so I'm gonna just weigh that out because it gives you the measurements on the side because for one tablespoon is 15 milliliters and in a half a cup there are eight tablespoons so gonna do eight times 15. all right now i'm gonna just add this to the bowl with the butter and i'm put that aside somewhere kind of warm so that it can get to room temperature so that it's going to be easy to mix now next i want to get my vegan egg recipe so since this calls for two vegan eggs i've got my vegan egg replacer which is going to be two tablespoons of this and for every tablespoon you do two tablespoons of water so i've got a quarter cup of water and now i'm going to put in two tablespoons of this give it a little stir and let it sit aside so that it soaks up all the water and gets nice and bindy i don't i don't know what to call it really gelatinous -y? it's not gelatinous I don't know what I'm talking about but all right next we are going to weigh out our flour I prefer to weigh it out just so that I make sure I am exact when it comes to the recipe 
Now, since this calls for two and a quarter cups, I would say that go by two and a quarter cups of what your flour weighs. So this weighs 34 grams. So that comes out to 306 grams of our all-purpose flour. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here before we sift it into a larger bowl. All right, so you can always give or take it about five grams, so we're at 304, so that's all right to be at. And then we're also gonna add in a one teaspoon of baking soda. The difference between baking soda and baking powder is that baking powder has both baking soda as well as cornstarch, but we're not in need of that today, so. And then we'll also put our one teaspoon of salt. And that's why it's best to get a, a butter without any salt already added so that we can control the amount that is in there. And so then now that this is all together, I'm gonna sift it into a larger bowl. All right, I'm gonna put this aside because we're gonna grab back our butter in which we are gonna now start to add our sugar. All right, so if your butter and coconut oil hasn't softened up quick enough, I would say just put it in the microwave for about 10 seconds, but then also leave it aside for a few more seconds just to cool back down because we don't want it too warm nor too cold. But it doesn't matter too much in a vegan recipe because we're not having to worry about like the egg cooking since it's not a real egg we're using. But anyways, we're gonna grab our hand whisk. If you have a stand mixer, you can use that as well. And we are gonna beat them until it's nice and fluffy before we add our sugar. All right, so now that that is nice and fluffy, it's time to add the sugar. So in many recipes, I always find that coming up with the ratio of white to brown sugar differs across the board. From For me personally, from all these tastings and testings of different recipes, I found that an equal ratio of each sugar comes out quite perfectly. My friends that are not vegan even agree so. So we're gonna do three fourths cups of each brown sugar and cane sugar. I'm gonna start with just the granulated sugar and then I'm gonna whisk it a little more before I add the brown sugar as well as the egg and our vanilla extract. All right, now we're gonna add in our brown sugar, the 3 fourths cup. The only difference between light and dark brown sugar is that there's just more molasses in it. So if you do want a richer tasting cookie, you can go for the dark brown sugar. I find there to be very minimal difference, honestly, when it comes to tasting a cookie with one or the other but make sure it's nice and packed in your measuring spoon when you are grabbing it. Now we got our one teaspoon of vanilla extract. There should be enough in here. Perfect. Used up the rest of that one. And then we're gonna add in our now kind of gelatinized vegan egg. There are so many other alternatives you can use. Like people do applesauce, they don't even use like a flaxseed egg or anything, but I like to try to keep things almost classic to a quote unquote regular recipe where it would call for eggs. Cause I don't know, I find that they always just come out the best. And now we whisk this up. All right, now it's time to add our sifted flour into this. I'm gonna do half at a time while we blend it up in between.
All right, as you can see, this is getting quite thick, a little too thick for my hand mixer. If you have a stand mixer, that paddle attachment will be best. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix it a little more using my handy dandy spatula before, just to make sure it's well combined, all the flour and everything, before we add in our chocolate chips. Oh, hell yeah, girl. All right, time for the last addition to this chocolate chip cookie recipe is, of course, our chocolate chips. Now we're doing two cups of chocolate chips. Like I said before, if you're gonna do one or the other, I would say go all semi-sweet. Otherwise, you can do a mix, like half and half of dark and semi-sweet. So I'm gonna do a mix of the two. Now it's gonna look like a lot of chocolate chips, but trust me, it's the perfect amount of chocolate chips for these cookies. You just gotta really blend it all up in there. Best part about this as well is that since it's vegan, you can eat the cookie dough straight up. Some people will say because the flour's not heat treated, maybe still not, but we all ate the cookie dough when we were kids, even when it had raw eggs in it. So, I'm still alive, you're still alive. So, eat the cookie dough, it's the best part. But, even better when you bake them. All right, so this looks just about well combined to me. So I am going to put some saran wrap over this buddy and we're gonna let it rest for 30 minutes. Yes, let it rest, trust me on this one. So I'm gonna catch you guys in 30 minutes, clean up the kitchen a bit, and then we'll get to the baking. Yes. All right, you guys. So hopefully your kitchen is nice and cleaned up and you've been waiting patiently while your dough has been resting. I have preheated my oven to 350 degrees. Recipes will range from 325 to 375. I found that 350 was just the happy medium and they bake perfectly for about nine to 11 minutes, and it can always depend also on your oven. My oven's pretty old, so it can be finicky at times. So for me, that's been like the perfect time. But anyways, we've got our tray right here. I'm gonna get a sill pad, or you can use some parchment paper, and we are gonna start putting down our cookie dough. All right, so serving size, I am using one of these ice cream scoopers. It's a one and a half teaspoon. I Hopefully you can see that, or a tablespoon, sorry about that. Um, if you are gonna go a little bigger, then I would recommend the higher range of the cooking time. So go for about more 11, 12 minutes if possible. Otherwise, with this size, happy medium, about 10 minutes or so, works perfectly. So with this, we can already start in grabbing with clean hands our cookie dough, roll it in a ball, Put it in our mats. And just give them a few inches in between each other because obviously with brown sugar, they are gonna spread out quite a bit. So I love Silpats, they are great. And But if you have parchment paper, you can actually reuse them more than once when baking. So there's a tip for you. Also, if you decide to freeze some of your cookie dough for later on, if you want to have cookies for a party or something and you just want to prep them, already put them on a tray in the ball form, stick them back in the fridge for a bit, then take them out and put them in like a Tupperware container, just well packed, or you can even put it in a Ziploc and put, stick them in the freezer. Then whenever you take them out, let them rest for a little bit and then bake them at the same temperature, 350, for about more like 11 to 12 minutes, just a little longer, because they are gonna be a lot more chilled than if you just let them rest in the fridge. 
I'm still waiting for my oven to preheat. So in the meantime, I'm gonna prepare another tray with some cookies so that they're ready to go once this one's finished. All right, so I ended up fitting a few more on the tray, but my oven is all ready. So I'm just gonna pop it in there and start my timer for 10 minutes. All right, time to take these babies out of here. And then while I take them out, I'm gonna put in this tray, put these aside so that they cool off, let them cool off so you don't burn your tongue. But oh my gosh, perfect. Nice and crispy outside. Oh, the smell, you guys, oh my gosh, the smell. Y'all don't even know, but ooh. Yo, those spread perfectly. You, you don't even know. But anyways, I'm gonna pop these in, let those rest, and I'll catch you guys in a few when those guys are cool down. All right, so I got the second batch out. <laughs> and as you can see, they look a little different from the first, only because, like I said, my oven is old, so it is finicky as heck, but Regardless, they are gonna taste freaking delicious. Let those cool down, but these ones, oh my goodness. <gasps> They're still like warm. Oh my goodness, look at this. I hope it, why won't it focus? Focus, there we go. Ah! Mm. I'm sorry. But that is the best cookie. Ever. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. Yeah, I definitely have to give these out or I'll eat them all. Wow. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Go try it out. Tag me on Instagram if you do. I would love to see it and love to know what you guys think of it. I will put all the ingredients, directions, in the like description box below, but you can always rewatch this video if you want to see how I did it. Oh man, mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm, 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 mmm. I love you guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this recipe. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of baked good you'd like for me to make next. Otherwise, I have some planned. Next video, I think we have a lion's choice taste test or possibly a full day of eating. I don't know which one, but stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you later. Bye.